Astigmatism is something that most of us actually have, some more than others. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining what astigmatism is, telling you everything I know about astigmatism, and hopefully answering a lot of questions that you might have about the subject. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at The Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And when you've had your eye test and you might have just been told you need glasses for the first time, or you might have been told for the first time that you've got astigmatism, it can be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna try and help clear everything up for you. It's really not as complex as you might think. I'm also going to be showcasing one of the newest eye testing technologies that can actually show you visually what astigmatism is within your eye. So stay tuned for that. But put simply, astigmatism is one of the few types of aberration within the eye, where the lens or cornea within the eye is not perfectly symmetrical. In other words, rather than being round like a football, it's more like a rugby ball shaped. And that can lead to a few different issues. Um, generally, people will tend to get eye strain, headaches, and they might see a tail from bright lights. And by the end of this video, you're gonna understand exactly why that is. So if you look at your prescription from your eye test, you should notice a box that says SIL, C-Y-L, which stands for cylinder. And that's the segment of your prescription that denotes whether you have astigmatism or not. If it's blank, you have no astigmatism at all. If it's 0.25 to say 0.75, it's quite minimal, although it does improve your vision if it's corrected. One or above, you definitely need to be wearing glasses with the correction. And certainly two or above, you would struggle to function without glasses that correct that astigmatism. That's a general rule of thumb. But many people have astigmatism that goes three, four, five or more diopters. But no matter what your astigmatism is, it can be corrected with the newest technology. So let's talk about how we understand astigmatism as an optician so that we can correct it for your eyes. Now, when you have an eye test with us, we measure your eyes using a machine called an eye profiler. It's a state-of-the-art technology that beams a laser through the eye to scan how your eye focuses light. And what we do is we create a profile, hence why it's called the eye profiler, a profile of your vision and how light rays are focused through the lens and cornea of your eye. And that allows us to correct astigmatism more accurately than ever before, but it also allows us to show you and educate you about your eyes. So this is the scan of someone with about one diopter of astigmatism. So in that box where it said CYL or cylinder, it would say 1.00. That person is me. I've had astigmatism for around about 10 years. So when I tell you it's really nothing to be overly concerned about, I mean it, I live with it every day. But what you'll notice from my scans is that we have this rugby ball shape like I described. You'll notice that it points in a certain direction. So it's pointing kind of 10 o'clock on this lens and three o'clock to maybe, maybe 2.30 on this side. This is my left eye, this is my right eye. This tells us very scientifically that I do have astigmatism because that is a, an exact measurement of the shape of my eyes essentially. Anytime you have astigmatism, anytime you have SIL in your prescription, you'll also have something called an axis. And the axis will be any number from zero to 180. And it's very simple what that axis is. It's simply the direction of my astigmatism. So this represents 160 degrees, and this represents 23 degrees. Although, interestingly, at night time, it fluctuates to 27. That's another feature of this technology is we can actually scan both your day and your night vision. For example, that's my daytime vision. You can see there's a lot more green and my pupils are a lot smaller. And that's my nighttime vision as my pupils open up. My astigmatism becomes a lot more prominent and a lot more profound. And that's why people with astigmatism tend to struggle with night driving, generally speaking. When you get bright headlights coming towards you or street lights, rather than seeing a single beam, you'll actually see a tail to it. And that tail is caused by the shaping of the eye. So if you've ever driven at night and seen that and wondered what it is, there you go. Now, if you get a pair of glasses with what we call an eye scription, which is a new type of prescription generated using this technology, it will correct that as much as possible. That type of blurring, by the way, has a name. It's called a coma. It means the tail, like a, a coma of a comet, for example. So you can see that I have that component in my prescription. I have all these other types of aberrations as well, lucky me, and the eye profile can correct those to give me perfect vision. Again, it's interesting to see that it's different between day and night. These blue bars represent the values of my eyes, so these are the results. The blue section is kind of the average values that you'd expect a normal prescription to be within. So you can see that quite a few of my results come outside the normal range, and that's why I particularly need glasses when I drive at night time. 
However, during the day, almost all my values are within the normal range. So a normal prescription would work for me, generally speaking. The end result of this technology is we get something, as I mentioned, called an iScription. And this takes the optician's prescription and modifies it according to all the information and data that we've discussed so far. And the result is the best vision possible. You get better night vision, better color vision, and better contrast. So why does astigmatism cause us to get tired eyes and headaches? Well, that all comes down to the brain. Because when we have aberrations within our eye that cause less than perfect vision, the brain attempts to correct and control that. And with astigmatism, it's quite interesting. It's not like being short-sighted or long-sighted where things at different distances are blurry. Astigmatism affects us in a more nuanced way, a more subtle way. Without making things fuzzy or blurry as such, it puts strain on our eyes in the sense that our eyes try to overcome it, and they can for a while. If you have low amounts of astigmatism, you can probably go half a day or even all day without wearing glasses, without getting many symptoms. But towards the end of the day, the brain and the muscles within the eyes start to tire, start to struggle to correct that astigmatism that they've been working with throughout the day. And that's where you start to get tired eyes, headaches. And by wearing glasses throughout the day, if you've got low amounts of astigmatism, they might not necessarily make things dramatically clearer. It's not like you put on glasses and all of a sudden you were blind and now you can see. It's not like that at all. But what it does is it relaxes the eyes and it helps them to see clearly without having to overstrain and overstress. And that's why we often prescribe glasses for people with astigmatism who even have 20 20 vision. 20 20, by the way, is average, it's not necessarily great or perfect, but it's okay. Even if you have 20 20 vision, if you have some amount of astigmatism, it still makes sense to correct it to keep your eyes in the best condition. So, I hope that clears up somewhat what astigmatism is it's that rugby ball shape of the eye, and how by measuring that shape of the eye, we can now correct your vision better than ever before. If you want to visit us and have your eyes scanned using the eye profiler, feel free. We welcome clients from all over the country and internationally. We have a service where if you do visit from afar, we'll look after you and sort out hospitality for you. You can come in, have your eyes measured, choose a perfect pair of glasses, which we'll help you with. And when they're ready, we'll post them back to you. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions about astigmatism or about eye scription or the eye profiler that I've discussed today, please leave those in the comments below. Give us a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the channel where I share lots of information like this and also showcase lots of really cool frames. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.